taking your outfits from day to night. Let me show you how. I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist, and I help women find the best styles that suit their unique personality so they can dress well and feel great. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. Today I'm going to talk about how to take your day outfits and turn them into evening outfits. As you may have guessed, I love dressing, and one of the things I really like is being able to take an outfit and change it. One of the best style tips that you'll ever learn is how to take certain pieces, how to put them together, how to make outfits look different, how to add accessories to make them look different, how to just change one piece for another to make it look different. And I have some easy ways that you can take your outfits from day to evening. A really good reason to know this is when you're traveling. Because when you travel, you don't want to take too many clothes, but you also want to have lots to wear. So when you know how to take an outfit, make a few tweaks with it, and then change it, it really can lessen your load, literally. Also, if you have a lot of clothes and you find it overwhelming because there's so much to choose from, and this happens with a lot of women, that they have so much in their closet that they're just frustrated. Knowing how to put outfits together and make little changes will be very beneficial. Let's talk about the first outfit. Now I've chosen a dress and you can choose a dress in a solid color or maybe in a print, it doesn't matter. But one of the things I like to look for is straight lines, simple lines. It's easier to make changes if you have simple lines. So first choose a dress with simple lines. The more lines you have, the more difficult it becomes. For example, if you have a ruffle bottom or if you have a ruffle top, if you have diagonal lines, anything like that makes it harder to make changes. So when I'm choosing a dress that I want to transition from day to evening, first I choose simple lines and then I choose a knee length or just a little bit above the knee. If you go below the knee to calf length, then it becomes harder because shoes don't match as well, for one thing. But also, you have to deal with proportions. For a daytime look, you can choose sandals, you can choose sneakers, and if it's fall or winter, you can wear boots. The next thing you want to consider is your accessories. So I've chosen casual accessories for the casual outfit, a casual crossover bag, and I'm also wearing casual earrings. For evening, I've changed my hairstyle, I've changed accessories, I've changed my bag, and I've also changed the sandals. For evening, you will want to wear high heels. Maybe not a high, high heel, depends on you and, and how easy or hard that is for you. There are different kinds of sandals you could wear for an evening look, and best are the ones that have a little heel at least, maybe even a kitten heel. Choose a pair that is more elegant looking than you would wear for casual. For the second look, I've chosen white pants, but you could choose any light color pants, whichever is your best light neutral. Maybe gray, could be beige, tan, but I've chosen white. Also, you could choose a different style, and this is where it comes down to your personality and your style personality. Choose a style pant that is best for you, that suits your body shape and your style. And in this instance, I've paired it with a t-shirt. So you'd wear sandals, sneakers, a casual bag, and maybe even a casual jacket. To turn this look into an evening look, I've replaced the t-shirt with a top, and I've chosen jewelry that's more suited to evening. I've also changed my sneakers for evening sandals. Number three look is jeans and a sleeveless top. You could wear sandals with this or you could wear sneakers. You could also choose 
a jacket that is casual and of course accessories need to be casual as well. To dress this up I've changed the accessories, I've also added a belt and I've added a jacket. Again you could wear a different color top, a different color jacket, anything that's going to suit your coloring and your style personality. The fourth casual outfit is black wide leg pants and a white polka dot top. In this outfit I'm wearing casual sandals, casual jewelry, and you could possibly wear sneakers too, but, but I don't like that look because it's just too bumbly. So I've chosen casual sandals and a casual handbag. And you could also wear a casual jacket with this as well. To make this into an evening look I have added a belt. I've changed the sandals to high heels and I have changed the top. All you need with this is some evening jewelry and you're all set. The next outfit is a jean skirt with a sleeveless blouse and I'm wearing flats with this but you could wear sandals as well or you could wear sneakers. The great thing about wearing a skirt or a dress that's just a couple of inches above your knee you can wear flats more easily. For an evening look I've changed the sandals, I've changed the top and I've added a jacket and also some jewelry. Even though I'm referring to these as evening looks, evening is different for everyone so it depends on where you're going for evening. These looks are more for an in-between evening, it's not really dressed up, it's kind of in-between. Take that into consideration as well. The outfit you're wearing should be matched to the occasion. I hope now that you're inspired to go in your closet and start looking for some of those daytime outfits that you now have and think about how you can make them into evening outfits. And even if you do this without the intention of actually wearing those evening outfits that you make, just the practice of creating more outfits will make it easier for you to get dressed. It's like anything, the more you do it, the easier it gets. So here's an exercise for you. Go in your closet, take out a skirt, and make an outfit with that skirt. Make it for casual, or actually have some place in mind that you want to wear it. And then think about how you could change it if you wanted to wear it for evening. Or maybe there's an evening outfit that you already have put together. How could you change that for daytime? The more you do this, the easier it gets. And then you can have less clothes and more outfits. And this is where a wardrobe capsule becomes very beneficial. And if you'd like to learn how to build a wardrobe capsule, you can get it right here. I'll put the link in the description box. Because once you learn how to do that, and you practice, and not only does dressing become easier, but you start to look better. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and keep on styling.